Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PLUG. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So, all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Done this analysis several times before, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But after today's price movement, definitely some updates need to be made. First, I'm going to do is a little house cleaning here and get rid of that green line down there. Sure, that level pertains to the chart. It's just not relevant anymore. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere. So let's try to make this as clean as possible going forward. First level of support to keep an eye on is what I would call the ideal level. And we say, hey, Clay, would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward, and that would be if the price can stay up there above $2.60. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below uh, two sixty, that doesn't mean the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could stay above that level, that would definitely be a very impressive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving, as time goes on, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic and highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what you know is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 260 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, nothing new here to report. Same level that I've talked about in the past remains that stubborn level right up there at $2.70. You can see today in the early morning, price struggled right up around that area. So keep a close eye on that as that will remain the main battleground that need to be, needs to be crossed up above. Although from the grand scheme of it all, what matters the most is what the price has already been doing. And that is this right here, just building those higher bases or if you wanna envision those as stair steps. So as long as the stair steps continue in the upwards direction, then everything else will eventually take care of itself, including breaking those levels of uh, resistance. So focus on healthy consolidations and just sit back and let the trend continue to do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.